I pressurised the tank with nitrogen, had about 240 psi in there. I've been inside the tank to locate the leak and I've located it underneath, leaking in between the two skins. So I've jacked the tank up. Cut a hole through the outer skin, taken the insulation out, and the leak is on top of this pipe where that little vertical pipe is welded to the top of this pipe. It's cracked. It's impossible to, to weld it from this angle so I'm going to have to cut the bottom out of this pipe and weld the crack inside out and then patch this pipe back up again That's where the leak is. Cut the pipe away. And the crack is inside there. I think it's where the end of the screwdriver is here. Can't actually see it. First job is to grind this weld penetration away. This is the penetration that's come through the pipe from the from the weld on the top there. So I've got to grind that away, it's all oxidised penetration. And then I shall have to put some floor tracing dye to find out where the crack is. I've got the weld penetration cleaned up in there, ground that off with a dye grinder. Now I need to find the crack. The crack's going to be about three millimetres away from the edge of that pipe there, about here. The weld on the top, the weld itself won't be cracked, it'll be cracked on the edge of the weld. So it's going to be over here somewhere. So I need to get some floor tracing dye on there now and try and find it. got the die on and that's where the leak is it's up inside the nipple so it's cracked on the top side of the original weld not on the bottom side I've got a ring of weld up inside the nipple had to purge the outside of the pipe with argon gas. Purge the back side of the weld. So now I need to let it cool down and give it another test with some floor tracing dye. That's the job finished. It's been on pressure test. I've got to weld this panel back in the bottom, put some insulation in first, and get the tank back on the floor.